Want to do all this at home in your shed? Well, here are my top 10 tools for setting up your dream shed so you can do any DIY project you want. How you going guys? Tonight we've got a very exciting episode. I think every single bloke out there has ever done any work on their four wheel drive. In fact, I'm gonna go as far to say, if you've got red blood, a heartbeat, and a pulse, you're gonna absolutely love this episode. Because today we're at Heron Falls, we're gonna go through the top 10 tools to make up the ultimate dream shed. Now, I'm like a kid in a candy store here. It doesn't matter if you don't know the difference between a left or a right handed screwdriver, or you don't even know how to change the blinker fluid in your four wheel drive, because today we're gonna to go through all the different tools that'll make up the dream shed, how to use them, and most importantly, how to get the most out of them. Now over the years, by doing the work myself and my vehicles, I've no doubt more than paid for my tools by attempting maintenance and DIY projects. Not to mention the satisfaction you get from working on your own vehicle. When it comes to setting up your garage or home shed, I believe in buying once and buying right. Now most of the tools that I'm gonna be showing you today, I personally have in my home shed. So it's gonna be very hard to narrow it down to my top 10, but here goes. quality vice I reckon is a must have for any home workshop and they don't get much better than this hair and four swivel vice. Now it's just like a traditional vice except it's got a stack more features which I guarantee you're going to find very useful. The rotating head and swivel base means you can hold what you need steady no matter if it's big bits of metal, a small bit of wood or something awkward like a long pipe. Another handy thing in this particular vice is the pipe jaws at the bottom. And you have these attachments for the main jaws that turn the vise into a mini sheet folder. Now this swivel vise right here is a quality bit of kit and I've had mine for a few years now in my shed and I can't recommend it highly enough. One of my favourite tools in the shed at home at the moment is my welder. Now keep in mind, this is coming from a bloke that couldn't weld a couple of years ago, and now with the help of some mates, YouTube videos, and a lot of trial and error, I can comfortably join pieces of metal together. This is the perfect home welder because you can weld metal from really thin to thick. You can use it as a stick welder, which means it can be used outside and the atmosphere won't affect the weld. However, I like to run it as a gas shielded MIG. It's so easy to use and really simple to make neat welds on this mode. So simple, even my welds look all right. So even if you can't weld just yet, a welder is a great investment for any home workshop and just like me, you'll find it one of the most handy bits of gear your own. Now when you're picking a welder, you want a welder that can cover you from projects big and small, from welding light gauge bits of metal together to right through to full on fabrication like doing your own trays, sliders, bar work, all that sort of stuff on your four wheel drive. Now a welder like this 150 amp gas MIG welder is the perfect welder in my opinion to get around and do projects big and small. Imagine the money you'll save with being able to do projects yourself. You can get away with cheaper units but they'll certainly have their limitations and won't cover you for all your DIY dreams. The Viper 150 by Unimig is what I reckon is the best value and will cover all your bases plus it comes as a package deal. So if you're a novice welder like me, it'll have everything you need to start your next project. Have a go with that. Two minutes with a hot glue gun, and then look what we have. Imagine what you could do with your very own welder and what projects you could make for yourself. A good quality bench grinder and linisher like this one here is a must have for every home workshop. In fact, it's one of my favorite go-to bits of equipment in my personal shed back at home. Now, it's not till you have one of these, you learn that you can't really live without one in the shed. I use a sandy disc to take burrs and edges off any metal I've cut. The linisher is brilliant for taking sharp edges of metal, timber or plastic, or taking surface rust off before welding. And I use the grinder to sharpen tools, and you can actually throw a wire wheel onto it, which is great for cleaning bits of metal. It features a rigid cast iron body and base for reduced vibration, so it runs smooth. Now this one here comes with a one horsepower motor, so it'll cover you for whatever project you're doing from big to small. So whether you're sharpening a chisel, right through to full on fabrication, this unit here will have you covered. This right here is the smallest portable bandsaw from Hair and Forbes. Now, it's perfect for the home DIYer. It's small enough to move anywhere in your shed, but it also packs a big enough punch to cut through whatever steel you're working with, with its one kilowatt motor. If you're building bar work or a canopy and using big tube, or want to cut small tabs of flat bar for spotty mounts on your bull bar, a bandsaw like this allows you to be super precise because it's so adjustable. You can adjust the speed, the angle of the blade in several different ways, and one really handy feature is this adjustable length stop, meaning you can cut four bits of metal to an exact length in seconds. 
If you're looking to make smooth and precise cuts in metal, from box section to tube, it's hard to go past this band saw. The fact that you can vary the blade speed to suit the type of metal you are cutting makes this one very handy piece of machinery to have at home. Now, if you're looking to clean up your shed or your garage, and let's face it, who isn't, you really need a good quality workbench like this one here. Now, one thing to consider when you're choosing a workbench, make sure it's really sturdy. Now, this one, of course, is made out of steel. It's really sturdy. You're gonna be using things like hammers, all different tools, maybe power tools. You're gonna have projects lined up here. It's gonna be able to take the weight of whatever you can put on it. This one here ticks all the boxes for that and much, much more. What I really like about a powder-coated steel workbench like this is that it's really easy to clean down. You can mount things like a vise really easily and you can put hot stuff on it without worrying about leaving burn marks in your wood. It's also much lighter than a similar sized table made out of timber. A steel bench like this is also handy because you can comfortably hit steel or hammer things on it. It has a solid steel construction and has a usable bench space of 2 metres, not to mention 3 drawers and a shelf for storage. It has a 500 kilo tabletop capacity and the 3 drawers are lockable and include a heavy duty mechanical bearing slide. I think no home workshop is complete without a solid workbench like this one here. This one here ticks all the boxes to make sure your workspace is very organised, not to mention more room for projects. Now, this is one item that will no doubt transform your home shed. It's just so many uses and it's a very versatile piece of equipment. Pedestal bench drill is one of the best bits of equipment a metal or woodworker can have at home. It allows you to do so many things that a handheld drill cannot do and will give you so many advantages. When you're building bar work, a set of drawers or a canopy, you need precision for it all to come together. You don't get the same precision with a hand drill that you do with a drill press. Plus, drilling through thick metal with a cordless drill is going to drain your battery and burn out your drill bits faster. A drill press is so much easier to use, you'll never know how you've worked without one. In fact, it's so precise that if you wanted to cut a thread into a hole, you could very easily and know that you have the best chance of getting your tap very straight, which is something you can't do with a hand drill. And make sure you can be consistent with the drill speed because the drill is driven by a belt. You can also change the speed of the drill by changing the belts onto the different pulleys. Because this is a 240 volt drill with a one horsepower motor, it's a lot more powerful than your typical handheld drill. It also allows you to fit up to a 16mm drill piece, which means you can drill bigger holes. Now another feature that I really like that a pedestal drill can do over a handheld drill is you can actually set the depth on the side here to adjust the depth at which you're drilling. Now I find that really useful, especially if you're going to be drilling a multitude of holes, you want them to be exactly the same. The best investment you can do for your shed is tool organisation. Whether that's hanging them up on the wall or using a quality tool chest like this, cleaning up your shed and organising your tools will save you hours on each project. I've recently invested in a tool chest like this for my home workshop and it's been one of the single greatest investments I've made. I've gone from spending half the morning trying to find my tools to finishing off jobs in the time it normally taken me to gather the tools I needed. Organising your workspace with a good quality toolbox is very important as it keeps your tools safe and protected and easy to get out for quick jobs. Now, if you like to spin spanners and work on cars and four-wheel drives yourself in your shed or your driveway, well, I've got one bit of kit that's well under 100 bucks that'll literally change your life. Of course, I'm talking about this one right here. It's a two-in-one heavy-duty creeper and seat. Now, throw away and retire that old milk crate you've been using up until now that leaves you with a really sore back after you're done. You know the one. Throw that in the bin and treat yourself to one of these. It's perfect because you can convert it from a creeper to a seat in seconds. When you're upgrading your suspension or replacing a tail shaft or even just servicing your four-wheel drive, this will make the job just so much easier. Fabricated long sturdy steel frame. Six swivel wheels for maximum stability when in creeper setup. And also four swivel wheels when it's in the seat setup. Another thing you're going to love about this unit here is that it holds up to 150 kilos making it heavy duty enough for even the biggest of units. Now you might be covered in oil and grease after you finish a job just like me, but at least you'll be comfortable. Having things organised in your shed means you can do the jobs faster and easier. Decent pallet racking like this will get your gear up off the ground and easy to find. This right here is the heavy duty pallet racking by Hare and Forbes. Now, I've recently introduced this into my shed. It's been an absolute game changer. I've got all the stuff off the ground, hidden away, nice and organised, and it's transformed my shed into a place I didn't really want to venture into, to a place where you can't get me out of it. The good thing about this particular pallet racking is it's really customisable, so you can change the height of each shelf easily. 
and you can load them up with a heap of weight. Each shelf can hold over 350 kilos. It'll get so much of your gear up off the ground, organized away, and you'll be able to reclaim your shed again. Now, it doesn't matter if you're pumping up your four-wheel drive tires right through to running air tools like ratchets and dremels and things like that, right through to sandblasters. A good quality air compressor like this one here is a must-have for any home shed. I use a spray nozzle attachment to clean dust out of everything, and you can hook up a paint gun and spray your bar work, whole four-wheel drive, or even paint some timber for your rear drawers. Now, I think one of the areas where people go wrong with picking a compressor for their home shed or garage is that they, they really cheap out and get the, the cheapest one they can afford. And in the case of air compressors, cheaper really isn't better. This Pilot Air air compressor is high quality and lightweight, plus has a three horsepower motor and 14.6 CFM, or 416 litres per minute displacement. Well there you go, there's my top 10 tools that I'd choose to set up my ultimate dream home workshop. Now with a setup like that, just imagine the amount of money you'd be able to save, because you'd be able to do so much yourself from basic maintenance right through to full on fabrication, trying to build your own bar work, your sliders, or even a whole tray and canopy setup. That would be really, really awesome, I reckon. Now, obviously I think the only thing that you'd need on top of those 10 tools that I picked is a good quality set of hand tools. And I reckon then you'd have all your bases covered. They're my top 10 tools that I'd use to set up my dream workshop, but I'm keen to hear from you. How would you set up your own dream shed or workshop? Now in the comments below, write down what tools you'd pick. I'm keen to go through that feedback and maybe get a little bit of inspiration for myself. You see, a bloke can't have too many tools, right? Now, if you want to learn more about any of the gear we mentioned today, make sure you jump onto the website at machineryhouse.com.au. I'll see you next time out in the tracks. We've worked with Heron Forbes to get you a forward of action only discount on all these tools. Head to the link in the description to see the special deals.